Hello again, my friends. This is Tony with Scott of Monahan Tooling Group. We are going to discuss something that previous to today I knew absolutely nothing about. So I got to learn, which I love to do, and you guys know that as well. This is a tool specifically for hydraulic valve bodies. There's a video going on in the background that'll help explain what's going on, and Scott has a tool, so he'll be able to visually show you some of this as well. Because what we're trying to do a little bit, ah, I'll just let Scott do it. He's way better at this. Scott, there you what go. do we have going on here? <laughs> Thank you, Tony. What we have is our IRU, the internal recessing unit, made right here in Dayton, Ohio, by Elliott Tool Technologies. Again, we're their exclusive sales and marketing arm for uh, worldwide sales. And this product is highly engineered and it's very specific to this hydraulic control valve body application where we are cutting multiple, multiple lands in a spool bore of, of, for these hydraulic valves that control, the, control your hydraulic fluid in your, your, uh, your back hose, your caterpillars, your John Deere's, all kinds of you know, JCB heavy equipment that, that need, that, need that hydraulic power. Um, to do their job so that's what this tool does and it does it all very quickly and all in, in one shot um, and uh, very and very accurately as well as you can see and typically you'd be doing these slots individually with some sort of boring bar and grooving tool yep it would typically be a, um, on a on a uh, like a, a machining center so these are these are normally you know square cubic blocks of cast iron or ductile iron or or you know similar materials where it, it really suits a machining center and um, so you, you'd be looking at doing doing a circular interpolating circular milling op application or operation so which 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 are slow you know well as we can see here in this video and maybe we I need to wait a little bit for it to start up again but it looks like these teeth that are on this tool they are kind of within the tool itself until it gets to the area where it needs to make a cut and a spring kind of pops these out. Is that what's going on here? More or less. It's, it's a mechanical, mechanically actuated tool. Um, it is spring actuated and the spring assists in the actuate, actuation and the, of course the, the retraction of it. But as you, you kind of see there, you, we've got a series of uh, ramps and, and cams built in there where See right there, you see those pins I and do, that yeah. front ramp, ramp there. So as we make contact with the, the face of the part or the counter bore in that situation on the part, whatever the datum surface is on that, on that valve body, once we make contact with it and then continue to feed in the Z axis, we get a, a lifting of, of the cutter straight up to machine these, these grooves or lands um, in this case. And, and how accurate and how long do these tools last? Sure, so the accuracy, um, the accuracy that we hold in, uh, on the customer part is generally, we're seeing on the, on the, uh, the axial positioning of, of the cuts, we're seeing um, oh, plus or minus, plus or minus five thousandths plus or minus four thousandths of an inch is pretty common mm -hmm. um you know if if that's what the tool's holding obviously we're manufacturing it to much tighter tolerances so so that's pretty typical the, the plus or minus five uh, on your axial positions on your diameters it's it's usually a little bit more open because that's not as critical the that that position in in that bore is what's critical the, the diameters are usually like plus or minus ten ten thousandths Gotcha. And what's the lifespan of this? So the tool? lifespan, what what we've kind of developed over the years is that if if you run these these carbide tipped blades to from let's just say 100 minutes of machining time to 150, what you'll get is it'll give you the ability to regrind them so that you you don't have any heavy chipping and wear and you can get two three. We have uh, probably our our largest customer can get up to seven regrinds on a on a carbide tip cutter just because they've been doing it a long time and have it down so and we do we do regrind these here in, in Dayton as well at Elliott so and regrinds typically the tolerance still stays within the original tolerance yes yeah it's a it's a pretty simple regrind we're we're, we're just gonna kind of kiss that uh, that rake ankle face and just get a get a sharp edge again so we're not really doing much to the 
to the, the sides of the, of the carbide. It's just a, a face grind. And do we have a lead time and an average cost? Sure. So lead time for a complete, you know, complete unit like this is uh, generally going to be about a six six week lead time. Um, the 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 resharpening uh, side of the business is more of a two to three week kind of turnaround. And I've learned that. Uh, the stand, there's no such thing as a universal set setup for each of these things. So every time a customer orders, they, they order exactly what they need. Um, and then so on and so forth as maybe a new job comes in or a new part or whatever it might be. True. Yeah. The, there is one standard item, and that is the kind of the shank and body. We call mm -hmm. it the operating head. So, so really you're looking at kind of from the shank out to this, this knurled collar. That's your standard stock item. And, but everything that goes inside the, the, the part itself is going to be custom. Does that mean that I can order a body and switch out yes. those pieces yeah. for any very, new job? Yeah, very common. Yep, that's pretty much what our customers do. Excellent. And yep. these are U.S. made, I believe, right US down the street from you. Right down the street, Elliott Tool Technologies. And, and so awesome. the guys, if they want to find you, you even have live chat on your website ready to go. We, we even have that. Excellent. Well, again, Scott... <laughs> Thank you for teaching me something new. It's why I love my job. It's why I love working for MTD. Um, I had never seen this type of application before. I had done interpolating before mm -hmm. and making grooves like this before, but I had never seen that tool. So thank you again, and I really appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you, Tony.